let's take a look at that. Um, oh, let me turn my, sorry, excuse me. Let me turn my survey back on so we can take a look at. Now, sometimes, and again, when we, we use the filters to create this information, we use the selection method to create this information, there's still going to be cleanup. You know, nothing, nothing yet is just fully there, boom, one button and it's done. Sometimes people like to extract, you know, the pipe, you know, or, you know, maybe, maybe because there's, you know, too much cleanup or, or, um, or what have you, they'd rather just go ahead and extract the, you know, take a shot and create, create the nodes, you know, because they're taking a shot at the top or shot at the bottom, and then they'll come back and add the pipe later. So sometimes, you know, depending on uh, what works best for you, you might find yourself, well, if the crews are collecting that data, then let's go ahead and try to leverage it. And so through filter manager, I can come in here and create a, um, a new filter. Let's say we'll call this inlet. We're going to create a new filter inlet. It is a node. Vertical offset. It's going to, you know, the points are in 3D. They're correct. So I'm going to go ahead and use those. Um, the elevation source is an element. So it's going to, the top element is this. The bottom element is that green shape there. The bottom source is a point. Um, the depth, again, I mentioned that's the depth that it would um, use if it didn't find something else. So let's say minus 3 or 3.5 or whatever. You might have a minimum box depth. Um, search radius, we'll say 10. Now the top filter, um, I'm going to use this uh, cell, the blue cell there. So I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to use over on my filter manager, uh, selection, I'm going to use by selection. So that's just going to fill out the cell name and the element type. That's good enough to find that. And then my bottom filter, I'll do the same. I'll select it over in the view. I'll use the by selection button. It'll grab the cell. Then I assign a feature definition. And just for demonstration purposes, let's use a stormwater node. Let's use an inlet. And let's use just a generic ditch. It's fine. And those of you that are familiar with drainage and utilities, you know that storm storm nodes for sure. They have some of them have a top 3D cell and a bottom 3D cell. So think of it as we're assigning the bottom 3D cell to this found point. We're assigning the top 3D cell, the top of it, the rim elevation to the shape. So let's go ahead and and run that. And you also notice that. In order to extract from graphics and just nodes, you have to use the utility filter. So you have to have filters set up because um, you can't just extract a node without extracting a pipe using the selection method. So that's something to keep in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and use the utility filter and then select inlet. And you can see the results will show in 3D there. So here's my, let me, let me zoom in my 2D view over to it so you can see it. So here's, I'm going to select the, the top or the structure itself. And you can see that, you know, the ground elevation 137.287 invert. And then my bottom cell was at 129.366. So now in my particular structure, it has a little bit of a, a depth below the invert. So the 3D cells are important here. If I had a 3D cell that was, you know, for example, on the other end, if my 3D cell minimum depth was deeper than the difference between the top and bottom cells that I found, it's still going to put that minimum 3D cell in there. So that in mind as you construct your cells. And then at this point, I could come through and some people, this is their workflow to come here and, and go ahead and then place the conduit uh, separately. So I use the place conduit. I'll place um, a 12 inch from there to there. And um, that's how they create their utilities. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.